Oh my gosh. So silly. All right. Hold on, where's my thingy thingy? I should have put this up here earlier. Anyway. Hang it right there. I hope y'all are doing good. I was, um... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I was actually, um... Will it stay up there? Will it stay up there? There we go. I was actually uh, in the process of doing a whole bunch of stuff. I need to clean my room. I halfway clean my room, and my son asked about this picture right here. I don't know if y'all caught from the last stream when I was explaining this picture back here. I told him I'll tell you when you're older <laughs> but anyway um I actually am excited because oh goodness just a second I'm kind of on the sleepy side too I don't know if this is gonna be a short stream or not I feel like it might be because I'm sleepy but the way y'all be coming through for me I don't know but um I'm gonna start by saying I saw the um the Black Panther uh trailer for Black Panther 2 and when I tell you I heard my ancestors cheering in the background who's that oh my gosh I see somebody hey Deandra welcome and it got me thinking about all of this stuff. Like, I own the Black Panther movie, right? Uh, of course, I had to give Marvel my coins for that. And, and RIP to uh, Chadwick, because he will definitely be missed. And a lot of people are kind of like on the fence because they love Chadwick, as do I and he was such an integral part of black panther however um i someone was telling me that in the comics you know was it shuri his sister she was gonna be black panther she's gonna end up being black panther and she was black panther for a good minute and some other stuff but i'm thinking to myself well, if you haven't seen the trailer, I'm probably... I, I can't spoil it because I'm just not going to do that. Because it, it's definitely something you should just take up five minutes out of your day and just check it out for yourself, right? But if you saw the trailer, then you know that there was certain things happening in that trailer that kind of explain... No wonder I can't see that kind of explained a lot of I guess practices that our people had in different cultures right now as an American I wish I knew where my face comes from on the motherland I do not and you know I would like to take one of those DNA tests those um african ancestry test and find out where from the motherland i am from or my people originated so i can have some assemblance and um there was one of those little you know those little things that they have uh filters that you have that you tap it and it's like a a flag that flashes above your head that tells where you're from right or where you look like you're from so i ended up doing it and i got algeria and i had never heard of algeria before yesterday so i had to look it up and i didn't know if it was in europe africa asia i didn't know but i did find out that Al algeria is in northern africa and it's a pretty big place so shout out to algeria and algerians i don't know if i am actually from algeria I think it was just a cute little thingy thingy going on but 
let's get to the paranormal stuff this is why we're all here right because when i watched that trailer of course i had to go back and watch black panther i actually was watching it before i came on while i was cleaning my room and one of my favorite parts of the movie is when they go when they're buried in that sand and they go and talk to their ancestors for whatever reasons right um and the reason why that scene is so powerful to me is because it makes well spiritually for me it makes sense because what a lot of people don't know is that when you're asleep you're literally your subconscious or your spirit is in between the waking world and the non-waking world so this is how you have dreams this is how you some people know how to astral project and stuff like that that's where all that comes in and that place where they were in the movie I'm not going to say it's an actual place, but it's a representation of what that person's place is like. Now, it kind of gets, it depends on what culture you're from. It kind of gets like really, really deep. And um, I actually met a young lady today and in talking to her, she was telling me that, you know, she believes in all this kind of stuff and she wants to know more and i'm like well come visit my street (laughs) you know i was trying to toot my my horn a little bit you know just just a little bit not to brag or anything but i was telling her that i talk about stuff like this all the time excuse me i had a hiccup but um i had to like go back and watch that scene a few times and and basically what i was looking for i wasn't looking at what was happening in the scene i was looking at the background the whole i guess area of what they were in and because you know the fictional wakanda is in africa the the planes was a fitting scene for them now for people like me my area wouldn't look like that for us i guess in america ours wouldn't look like that ours would look like more like a familiar place to us maybe a city backdrop or mountain back backdrop or something like that um or somewhere very familiar or comfortable for us and for them you know it was you know the the plains so it's it kind of makes you wonder like are you really going to this place or is it a, a manifestation of a common area for your people and to answer that is a simple yes is both because it's your perspective of how you see it and it's also a representation of all of your ancestors together because one thing i do know for a certain my ancestors are real I, I tell people all the time i don't subscribe to any religion in particular i don't hate on other people's religion or what they believe in what are you doing i'm looking at my uh my little bar at the bottom turn red for no reason i'm like i'm not streaming any hold on let me turn this I don't think my game is on. Oop. Y'all, I was playing Harvest Moon in the back. So, that's, that's probably why it's on. But, um. Oh, goodness. Where is my water? When I get to talking and talking and talking, y'all. I'm basically saying. <laughs> Mm-mm. and look at that hold on you know you gotta shout your friends out <laughs> hey man is but yeah i was basically saying it's like 
if you are the type of person that actually can remember your dreams um take a look around if you if you dream take a look around at your your surroundings of course you're gonna you know go through your dream and you know whatever event is happening there but actually take a look around when you get there notice wallpapers or sky colors or what the ground looks like see if you can touch something and remember how it feels stuff like that some people actually can do that um as soon as i wake up i write down everything i can remember even if it's like and not in any particular order i still write it down because i could probably rearrange it later on i remember a few but not a lot <laughs> shout out to menace you guys let me give him his props right here now i might regret this <laughs> i know y'all see me <laughs> That's like one of the best clips ever. <laughs> oh man, the more games you play, the better clips I'm gonna have. So remember that. But yeah, when I saw the um, when I saw that whole trailer, I'm thinking to myself, of course, black people, we gonna show the hell out when that movie comes on. That I already know that movie is gonna be like fantastic right and so of course you know i had hold on let me see ooh, ooh, ooh. hold on let me clear all my notifications so y'all don't be all nosy and stuff with my gallery okay um so of course i had to go and get this picture i don't know if y'all can see this picture let me turn this off can y'all nope let me turn it back on can y'all see this picture y'all can't even see the picture dang oh let me turn my brightness up on i'm one of those people i have my brightness all the way down on my devices this picture right here you guys i had to get this and do y'all see this date one 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 two two <sighs> For those people out there that are into numerology, please help me out on that date. I know where I'm going to be. I'm going to risk exposure to C-19 to go see this movie. I really am. I am going to have my mask, my hand sanitizer. Probably, I might just wear a ghillie suit. Wakanda, yes. I might just wear a ghillie suit and a whole doggone gas mask to the theater. And buy one of these just to sit in the theater. Matter of fact, let me make this picture my um. I'm gonna make this my screensaver. How do you make it a screensaver? Mm, set as wallpaper. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna make this my lock screen. Ooh, yes, set on lock screen. Look at that. Hold on. Yes. Can y'all wait? Come and go. Now you you tripping. Yes. Okay. So um I'm I'm so excited because like that first movie spoke to me personally in a way that I'm not sure I was supposed to be you, you know they'd have to give me a ten thousand dollar cash back basket to go to the theater again now okay listen now not only am i gonna attempt to go to the movie theater i live close to i think an amc theater maybe about two miles away from me mm. no i'm like two miles from an airport maybe five miles or less from the movie theater right and that movie theater is never packed i wanted to be a movie reviewer once upon a time in my life 
but I have a problem with falling asleep during movies. All movies. The only movie I've never fallen fallen asleep on is Black Panther. And maybe it was one more, but Black Panther I stayed awake from. And I actually saw it in theaters about two or three times when it came out because I was just that the first time it was there just to watch the movie the second time I took my mom to see it and then I started to pay attention to all the smaller things in the movie that I didn't catch the first time and then the third time I think I went with my kids or something like that or it was something I think my mom my mom and loved ones to see it and I went with her and I guess my brother-in-law or something but after that second time seeing it I was seeing stuff in the movie that was like speaking to me then I was looking around and I'm thinking okay um is it did y'all not notice that or am I the only one seeing like special maybe hand gestures or I don't know it just felt like certain scenes maybe like the um the scene where they were doing the battle and you see all the different tribes and stuff like that when I saw some of those people I was like wait a minute now why do I feel like I've been here before and not you know in the in the scene itself but how some of the the people looked they they seemed kind of familiar to me like maybe I was one of them once upon a time somewhere like of course I know the movie is fictional but they are based on actual African tribes and stuff like that and like some of the the language that was used felt familiar to me so it's it's all kind of like weird and it's like yes come on Wakanda and all this type of stuff so this is how I know that Ryan Cook Oh my gosh, I'm going to butcher his last name. Cooliger? Cooliger? I don't know how to say his last name. But yeah, this is how I know he did his homework. And this is how I know he really, really, really went all in making that movie. And I know that he's going to go all the way in making the next one. And I can't wait for Blade to come out too. Um, But I watched that scene in the first one thinking to myself is this where we go when we dream is this what we see are we seeing our ancestors are the people in our dreams that we do not know are they our actual ancestors in different forms in in our lives or in their lives and we're just passing through so oh I have to go to the restroom. I'll be right back. everything off the wall coming back (laughs) oh my gosh 
anyway yeah i had to wash my hands and everything and the restroom is right next door so it didn't take very long i did miss you guys though anyway um let me put that right there All right, um, what else was I talking about? Here we go. All right, so when it comes to Ooh, I just got a hold on y'all, I just got a message. All right. Anyway, when it comes to like when you go to sleep and then you have dreams about I hate when stuff falls over and then you got to rearrange everything. You got random pencils and stuff. When you go to sleep and you start dreaming about places that you've been before but you don't recognize them in real life in your waking life. Um, I was asked, have you like, have you actually been there before or what is that? And so I was like, I think it's definitely a familiar place that you've seen either in your waking life at least once or a memory of another lifetime. So I do believe that people can come back in different forms after they've died because I, I don't think that once you are gone once you die that's it i don't think i don't believe that at all mainly because i've seen and heard of people or children coming back and describing things from lifetimes that they should have no knowledge about and i think i have been one of those children that have said something and then grown-ups stare at you like who are you or how did you even know this or that now um when that happens you know I don't know how to explain it or tell people hey I know this from this this or that but you know it is what it is so um oh goodness I, wish, I really wish I knew somebody that was really good into like numerology and stuff because I would like to know why am I seeing like certain numbers over and over I've noticed that I've been seeing uh, of course one one I think the craziest one I've been seeing is one seven I think one seven and four randomly and I don't know what that's all about. Because normally I'll see either 1111 every day or 222 or 2222 every day. And I, I'm not sure why I'm seeing these numbers or why I'm even paying attention to, to them in the first place. But I think it is, you know, my ancestors definitely trying to let me know, hey, we see you you're on the right path or you're doing something that we need you to do keep going you know so um when that happens i i basically i say appreciate it good looking out just say something random to know that they hear you <laughs> y'all i got hiccups i don't know if i'm trying to grow but i've been having hiccups a lot lately I probably need to drink way more water. But, um... Another cool thing that I did notice... Um, I might have to rename this one to... Like, the Wakanda stream. <laughs> the Wakanda stream or something. But, um... Another thing I did notice in that trailer... The new trailer... Is that it looks like he explores... Um, 
another culture and i don't know if this is like a pacific islander culture or maybe like hawaii or oh gosh another pacific island island i feel horrible for not knowing some more islands pacific islands but but it looks like he they were battling i don't y'all i need to get more into marvel to even figure out what i'm talking about but um no 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 i'm not trying to go to my stream no (laughs) i feel today (laughs) y'all i'm tired um i'm like falling off when i tell y'all i am I've been going through it lately as far as like I'm, I've been tired and I feel like I feel like I've been drained from like going places I've been to the grocery store a few times lately and because of that I've been like super duper drained the last few days I've even stayed off the internet and stuff and I don't know if it's because I've been pulling from people or it's just, I don't know, extra energy out in the world. But I've definitely been drained lately. So if you have not seen me online or, you know, anything like that, I, I am okay. I'm fine. I'm not sick or anything. But um, I'm trying to get myself together because I know this weekend... Oh, it's the 24th. Yeah, this weekend is my husband's birthday. So shout out to all the Leos out there. Happy birthday to all the Leos. I know it's Leo season now. And I feel it. I feel it in my bones. I'm tired. But anyway, I'm going to cut this stream short because, yeah, I... I ran out of battery. <laughs> I ran out of battery. Hey, Suave. Hold on. Let me see if I can do a shout out to you before I go. Uh oh. There we go. Is it coming up here? There we go. What game is this? Oh y'all, he's actually on the stream on the screen this time. Oh, that's not Red Dead Redemption. No talking, no nothing. Just straight to the point. <laughs> y'all check out Suave. He is almost to affiliate. So y'all gotta help him get get there. Cause I know how it was when I was trying to get there. It was rough. But yeah, if you are just hopping up, that was Apex. Okay. Somebody asked me what I be streaming, and I be like, uh, Animal Crossing? And I ain't played Animal Crossing in, in a while before the last stream. But yeah, if you just hopping on, I was basically talking about the Black Panther, um, the Black Panther stream, and how it affected how I actually think about that space that you go to when you're asleep because I was correlating the the scene where they buried T'Challa and gosh what is Killmonger's name Eric was it Eric when they buried him in that sand and they went to their place to talk to their ancestors I think Eric went to talk to his dad but uh, T'Challa went to talk to his his dad and his other ancestors were there and i'm basically saying that when you go to sleep your version of that area that they were in is going to look different depending on where you are in the world and um i was also saying that that scene in general it's not too far off from real well i'm not even gonna say reality because that's kind of a wobbly term for it but um when you do fall asleep and when you're in the the area between consciousness and consciousness and unconsciousness 
yes the spirit plane thank you so much because i feel like i'm just my battery is damn near depleted i don't know why but i it's like i don't know if it's a full moon or something but some days i really feel like i cannot just function and today is like one of those days like yesterday i was out of it tired like what i mean tired i mean oh i already know what this is damn you aunt Flo. she always zaps my energy every freaking time i just want to be great <laughs> that's exactly what it is i get super tired and i can't do anything i just want to lay there she's just messing this all up <laughs> damn it my bad y'all hold on mm. but yeah um i feel like i need to go through all the questions that i've been getting lately and do another q a stream soon because um some of these questions i'm getting are really really good and i feel like they deserve a on-camera explanation for um one of the questions i got was if you're atheist how do you believe in ghosts and i thought that was like a really 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 good question because it's not whether i believe in ghosts or not it's it has nothing to do with religion at all because once you start seeing things that you know you should not be seeing it's it kind of puts it puts you into perspective of well shit what is really real or not and some of that stuff hey khadija some of that stuff you really like pay attention to like in movies and then you see it in real life and then you pinch yourself and be like okay i'm not crazy i'm actually seeing this stuff what just walked past me in my room at three o'clock in the morning or what was that i saw in the trees in the corner of my eye or did i really just see somebody standing there and there's nobody around but me and i'm sure yes i agree you don't have to be into religion to be in tune yeah and i was explaining that to her and i was like it's not something to have anything to do with religion there are things in this world that just you just cannot explain like miracles in general sometimes you just cannot explain it because of what it just happens um and then somebody was like well do you believe in coincidences and i was like mm. Hey, yeah i'm not sure because i don't know if y'all ever heard that term there's nothing new under the sun and if you wonder about how long we've been here every single thing you could ever think of has happened in some form or fashion at least once but let me give a shout out to let me see Khadija while she's here I was watching her uh, play Call of Duty earlier with her friends okay. I don't know why I picked that clip but y'all definitely check her channel out she is very w worth watching but yeah, um, at the end of all of this, I think I'm going to go to bed early. Oh my gosh. Because I was tired. I stole my husband's shirt. <laughs> he going to come in and be like, uh, is that my shirt? Yes, sir. But um, I have a feeling that the reason why I'm so tired is because I'm supposed to be asleep so i can get these messages i'm not sure what that clip was yeah it picks random clips so i have no control over what it picks sometimes it could be stuff that you ain't played in in centuries and sometimes it just yeah because if i put mine on it's probably gonna pick something 
It might pick that Lumo clip. Hold on. Let's see. Let me try this one to see what it does. Come on, Isabel. Now for today's announcement. Today we have a visitor at the campsite. And we're going to see if they want to stay with us or not. Because if they do, we're going to ask them. And then we got to see if You see what I mean? <laughs> it's just embarrassing. Girl, you better not say nothing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh goodness. Whew. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get all my questions and stuff together uh, that I have not answered before and some of the ones that probably need to be answered again and i'm gonna go on my youtube and put all of my q a style videos in a playlist for everybody yeah i love her emotes i need to i need to make a few new ones for myself i hear people get theirs off of um etsy but i don't know how to navigate etsy and how to get emotes or anything but i love hers she has some really nice ones but anyway um I appreciate y'all sitting with me for about 30, 40 minutes. <laughs> I might rename this one to the Wakanda chat because that's mostly what I talked about. And I feel like once I go to sleep tonight, I'm probably going to get a, a heavy download because I did get one the night before last. And I feel like I have to like read it over a few more times to put it all together because it, it made sense and it didn't make sense so I'm gonna try to figure that out and I feel like I have another one coming that's why I'm so tired right now and I normally will stream until about 10 o'clock but 9 30 is where I'm at so shout out to everybody that came through I appreciate all of you guys y'all have a wonderful night and until next time gamer babes Wakanda forever!